Hello teachers, it's Liz and Logan, and I'm coming to you with a tutorial to show you guys how you can embed Sway presentations into your Canvas assignments. Now, if you're like me and you're assigning um, art assignments, um, art projects, or graphic design projects like I do, you know that your students need to see some kind of visual representation of what you want them to submit. It's not so that they copy what somebody else did, but it's so that they have some kind of visual idea of what you are expecting them to submit. They are going to ask you for it if you don't have it. So be prepared and have some kind of visual prepared for them that they can um, reference when they're starting work on their projects. So over here, what you can see is I created a slideshow on Sway of a few different projects that my students have created in previous years for um, a Photoshop um, collage. What I ended up doing is just creating a basic presentation in Sway where um, I added a stack of images. Oops, I enlarged it. I added a stack of images um, of the different projects and then I went and embedded this presentation into the Canvas assignment description for students to um, basically reference as they go move forward with their own projects. So doing this is really, really easy. Um, I already have a Sway presentation created for another kind of project that I'm going to be writing right now. So this is for an art project that my 2D Studio Art students will do. And what I ended up doing is just created a brand new Sway presentation from scratch. If you watched my previous video on working with Sway, you know how to do this. I didn't title it because I don't want students to go and see the title prior to the slideshow. So over here, you guys can see it basically just shows the different images the students did. Uh, that's what I want them to see, just the images, no title. So I left the title card blank. And I went and I uploaded several different images into a stack. Now, if you don't know how to do that, it's very, very simple. I just go and click the plus sign to insert content to my um, Sway presentation. And then I can add an individual image or I can add a stack. A stack is basically just a group of different images. So here, I'm gonna go to add content and then image into the stack. I go to suggested, my device, and I have several images from previous projects that I wanna submit. Ignore those selfies, please. So let's say I wanna include these two images into the stack, right? I select them open and now um, Sway is going to process those images. Cool. Now that Sway processed those images, I can select how those images are going to be presented in the Sway. So if I click on this stack group, right, I get a, a option to select a group type. So I click the group type and I can see I can stack it where it shows like this, like a group of pictures that I can just kind of flip through, or I can select a grid or a more traditional um, slideshow. I'm just actually gonna leave it at stack and I'm gonna hit play so that you guys can preview what that looks like. So here's my YouTube banner that I just added, random poster, and that's what it would look like as students flip through it, okay? I'm just gonna go back to edit mode. If I selected another group type, I'm actually just gonna delete this one because this was just an example. So I'm gonna work with this particular um, group right here of drawings. So I go to group type and I can select um, grid. This is what students would see. So the images would all be segmented into different um, compartments. Um, another one would be slideshow. I'm gonna to go to play, and this is how students would see it. So that's not bad. But I think for this particular um, example, I think I wanna leave it at stack. All right, awesome. Now I'm ready to share this. I have all the images that I want my students to reference here. Um, I can go to design and maybe select a different template, but if I go to design and styles, which I went over in my previous video. You guys know that there's a few different um, templates I can choose from. I selected this one right here that looks like a canvas background. 
um, because I felt like it was simplistic and it's not going to distract from the actual drawings themselves that I want my students to view. But if you don't know how to get there, you go to the design um, tab and you select styles and you choose from any of these templates. So I'm ready to save this. I'm ready to go and put it in my new um, Canvas assignment. So I'm going to go to share. And I taught you guys before that you want to select anyone with a link if you guys were going to send a direct link to someone to view. But in this case, what I want to do is get the embed code. So I select anyone with a link just to make sure anyone can view it. And I select get embed code. And then I copy this code to my clipboard. Okay, that's copied. Now I'm going to go to Canvas. And I already created a blank uh, assignment shell. So basically, I just have to click on it. Now my assignment is blank. There's nothing on it. I'm going to select the cancel icon to edit. Now you guys know in the rich content editor, this is where we um, add our assignment descriptions, our prompts, etc. So this could be prompt, blah, 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 blah. You guys know the drill. But before I add the prompt, that's where I actually want to include my Sway presentation for students to view. So I'm just going to make a little space before I would add the prompt. And in my rich content editor, I'm going to go to the embed icon, which looks like this. Insert edit media looks like a flag. Select the embed tab and then paste that embed code in there. Click OK. And that's what it looks like so far. I'm just going to save this assignment description in progress so I can preview what students would see when they go to this assignment. All right, cool. So that's it so far. When the student comes to this assignment, they'll be able to flip through this slideshow and see the different examples that students in previous years created. Now, here's a cool thing. If I go back to that Sway slideshow and I decide, you know what? I don't like the stack. I think I want them to see all these images in a grid. No problem. I go to group type and I select grid. Now, I don't have to go and re-embed this or anything because if I just go to Canvas and refresh my browser, okay, I refresh my browser and I can see that the presentation was updated automatically. I didn't have to do any extra work. Once I embedded the Sway into my Canvas assignment, I was good. So you can make as many changes to this Sway presentation as you want. Like if I wanted to, I could add 20 more drawings to the slideshow and it's all good. It will be reflected in your Canvas assignment. So I hope that helps. I hope that if you're an art teacher or a graphic design teacher or any other kind of teacher, um, that you guys can find some kind of use for this. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Bye-bye.